Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today, we look at episode 10 of Big Order. At the same time, we're going to be reviewing the whole series in general too. So, I'm going to say this. This is going to be how the format is going to be for um, my Myoga review and any other future episodic reviews that I finish uh, in the coming months and all that. So, what I will do is I will review the last episode. So, for example, this is episode 10. I will review that. I'm not going to have any of the images for the episode. I'm not going to be spoiling in case anyone has not seen it. Just wants to hear what my thoughts were on the final episode and to avoid spoilers at all possible. I'm going to do the same thing with the last uh, Lost Village tonight also as well i'm just gonna review it well, i'm gonna watch it myself get one single image maybe from the episode and maybe just from the show entirely and then i'll review it over the thing i'll review the last episode and review the whole series now big order i will always say the first two episodes of big order were are very good you know this episode this show had a lot of potential because i mean again it's from the guy who made future diary mira nikki is a lot of know as a lot of you know it as and it had the potential to be something amazing it really was a series that had some strong moments at the beginning very very beginning and over the course of these 10 episodes has just fallen down the rails like think of a roller coaster going downhill but without tracks or without the cart so kids are just sliding down the roller coaster ride like honestly this show is terrible this show is garbage i mean honestly i reviewed it on mal as a three and honestly that's because i'm just gonna say i like this. three things i like about the show three things only three only three I mean, okay, you know what, realistically, four things I like about the show. One, I like the opening of the show. I think the opening is actually pretty solid. Two, I actually like the animation. It's not bad when it works pretty good. It has some interesting design elements that they try to do with it. Three, I like the actual um, concept of how the big orders work in general. How everyone is using more so a system of willpower and a system that lets their willpower be exposed and actually be used to convey thoughts and, and emotions as actual wishes. I think that's interesting. And four... You know what? Actually, I already forgot what the fourth thing I like about the show. Um, I, I thinking I honestly, you know what? I'll probably say that I like the way everyone says "Oda, Oda." I, I think that was like probably one of my favorite parts of the show. Honestly, Oda. Um, but anyways, <laughs> hopefully you enjoy that. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys and girls. Episode ten was garbage. Episode ten was. Um. Episode 10 has all the characters finally meeting up for the final battle. Uh, Eiji's father is involved. You know, various characters find out who the... Well, last episode, if you saw it, you did actually find out who the real cause of the world destruction was. And that was actually Senna. And we find out that this... Uh, AG actually was able to change everyone's memories around him. To remember it as he was the one who caused the world destruction when it was really her. But, honestly, who cares? Um, all the characters fight in the end part... No one should care about that because I swear to God, some characters from the actual group of 10 just show up out of random happenstance just because, oh, we're here. We, we showed up, guys. Don't worry. We're here. It's like, what was your purpose? You just They just appear. There's characters that just literally appear for nothing. Enemies appear for nothing. Like, there was no point to them even showing up. They might as well not even showed up. Then the actual episode ends, and it was the most cliched and... I could figure it out from a mile away. I think most people with brain cells can figure out from a mile away of how it was going to end. And it ended exactly like that. There was no actual good ending. There was no, let's see how characters are doing now. Let's see what's going on in the world. No, none of that. This episode was terrible. I mean, this was the worst one of the whole series. And I was hoping that the last episode might have a semblance of something that made me care about the series overall. But no, it's not. It actually made me hate the show a little bit more. I was actually originally going to give the show a, a 4 out of 10. I gave it a 3 because of the last episode. It's that bad. Honestly, this show is just, you know, serious thoughts overall. This is where I'm actually going to talk about the series. Big Order, like I said before, had two strong episodes at the beginning. It had a strong premise. It had strong concepts. I liked the music. I liked. I thought that the actual story seemed interesting. And after that, just completely went off rails. They, from what I've been hearing about the manga, you know, the manga is not much better from what I hear. But it actually had more of a story and more elements. And a lot of things that were in the anime weren't actually in the manga such as, you know, the sister and the, the brother actually being an item together, whatever it was. And other characters who just, just were together for nothing. The various skips that the anime had because they skipped over like five. This, honestly, I want to know why this was made this way. I, I would believe that this show was made to be like this on the, the stems of maybe they just ran out of budget or they didn't have a lot of money or they just kind of take a, taking a chance with a show that they weren't they knew weren't, wasn't going to do very well. But honestly, this show was so bad. 
oh, I, I could spend hours talking to you guys and girls about how bad this show was, but I don't want to do that because honestly, I hate ranting and raving about things. I really do. I'm not one of those people. But I will say that this show is probably one of the like top five worst things I've ever seen in my life. And, you know, that's a shame because I love Future Diary, Mirror and Nikki. You know, Future Diary was a great, great show. It had so much good story elements into it. Great characters, great music, great animation. Big Order is essentially a clone of that, but like a disfigured clone that was you know, printed out from a 3D printer and they, they forgot to like add 90% of what was actually made in the first place, what the original was. It's almost like you took a mug for like a coffee mug and instead of having anything of the actual mug, you just have the handle because that's all you got. That's what Big Order is to compare to uh, Future Diary. Big Order sucks. I would say don't waste your time watching this show. I always say that I know, I understand that animators and people that work on this, you know, struggle to make something. I get that. I get the directors, you know, who have made this show will try their hardest and I understand that fully. And I understand not as someone who makes anime, of course, I don't actually do that, but I understand as a viewer that it takes a lot of work to make something. And I always hate saying when something's bad, but being honest with you, this lacked any design this to me was something that felt rushed and i think it was rushed and i think even the creators knew that they rushed the show so with only having 10 episodes for it and having multiple skips from the manga from what i hear overall if i had to review big order what you know a through f my usual score i would say f this show is terrible this show is a waste of time do not waste your time watching like i did unfortunately i did that so this way you hopefully i could save some of you from actually watching this show now, overall, guys and girls, you know, uh, my yoga is going to be reviewed tonight. And I know it's not also not one of my cups of tea because right, right now my yoga is not doing that great. But at least it has a potential to be at least a higher score than this. I'll tell you that right now. So I definitely hope you check that out. Also, um, I don't know if you guys and girls know, I will be having a live event tonight at 8 o'clock. I have Memory uh, from Memory NK showing up. I have Habit from Habit slash Habit Plays also showing up. So I do have some people. So definitely it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be two hours of just randomly talking about something. I'll figure it out when we do it. But anyways, guys and girls. I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoy this review. And as always, until I pass across again in the next review, have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.